Make sure your Robo E3 and your computer are connected to the same network. Then click on Tools, then click on Network, then click on Cloud. You'll then click on Robo Cloud and press the button in the top right to toggle it on. You'll see a registration code there which we'll put into RoboCloud when you set up your printer. Now go to cloud.robo3d.com and register for an account if you don't have one. If you have one, go ahead and log in, click on the My Printer section, and click Add Printer. Name your printer by typing a name, then type the registration code on your Robo E3. Once you're done typing that, press OK, and your Robo E3 will be added to your RoboCloud account. Click on My Model, then click on the Upload Model button. Choose Models from your computer. Select an STL you'd like to put into RoboCloud, then click Upload. You can add more models to RoboCloud, or you can click Close and check your model library. Go ahead and click on the model you just uploaded and click Print. You can then do a number of different things like move the platform around, rotate your model, scale it. You can change the print settings as well by clicking on print settings, choosing the material, choosing if you'd like supports or a raft, and the quality settings. Make sure if you have multiple E3 set up in your RoboCloud account, you choose the right one you wanna to print to. When you're done with that, go ahead and click print. It will slice your model and get it ready to start. Once you're ready, go ahead and click the start button. It will then send it to your printer over Wi-Fi and begin printing. As you see, the printer is receiving the command and beginning to print that model. It will then heat up and start printing. You can go back to your RoboCloud and check out some of the other features where you can queue up prints, add multiple printers to the dashboard, and manage your job history. Thank you so much for printing your first print from RoboCloud.